God has heard my prayers. You flatter me, Lord. But what's wrong? Where's Barith? He's not returned. Nor have two messengers sent after him. This cannot be simple misfortune. It hints at some dark design. Let me go after him, Lord. If he lives, I will find him. Even with your cunning and guile, you would not go unchallenged. Not without a king's pass, and few Vikings have those. I'd wager a few from Donegal do. Donegal? A Norse settlement? A port, on the western shore. A fair bit of their trade finds its way to Aljach, so someone there is bound to have a pass. Is this port well guarded? It's crawling with Norsemen grown lazy on success. They'd not expect someone to go Viking on them. Good. I'll go to Donegal now and get one of these passes. With your leave, Lord. If it means fewer lives lost, you have my blessing. Should be cautious around here. If there are any king's passes to be had, I may well find one here. Oh! 
Odin Scott is just one. <gasps>
Give me a hand! A good horse! Let's get out of here! An impressive fortress. One cannot help but wonder what's within. Now to see how they treat someone with a king's pass. What business have you here? The business of kings. Here's my pass. Go on, then. Who are you to come before the kings of Ilar unannounced? <laughs> Fergal! You're not Fergal. Uh, I don't know you. I am Sturm of Donegal. Who is Fergal? The King of Dublin speaks of a cousin who advised us for a time. A glorified goat herder who should have taken our advice. So, Sturm, what brings a Viking from Donegal here? You tell me. I came at your invitation. There's some mistake. I sent no such message. It wasn't me. It could have been you know who. But he hates Vikings. Forgive my brother's bluntness. We will get to the root of this, I assure you. Can I offer you a drink? Yes! More drink? I haven't seen the bottom of my cup since I got here. <laughs> if I wasn't a trusting man, I'd say they're trying to keep me drunk. No drink for me. I'll return when you have finished your king's business. If it's not drink you're wanting, you should take a tour of the Ring Fort. It's, it's renowned throughout the land. As we've told you several times, King Barda, the Ring Fort of Arla is not open to guests. In fact, you could even say that it's closed for a select few. Ah, so you're keeping prisoners there. <laughs> oh, have a drink, you two. Do you think I haven't taken a few hostages myself? I'll seek out a place to rest, until you remember why I was summoned here. Of course. Of course. Your pass will grant you free run of this place. If you see Fergal, say hello for me! For the last time, Bart, the Ring 4 is off limits.
If I read Barret right, freeing Fergal could be key to liberating Halach. And to do that, I need to get inside that fort. Do you see? <laughs> Need to cloak myself here.
God grant me strength! My thanks. You are doing me a good turn. Hey, you're Ava, right? You serve King Barry. We were meant to check on the king and report back. But soldiers grabbed us, threw us in here. I'll let you out. Return to King Flan if you can. Is there someone here I'm named Ralph. Fergal? I am he. Who wants to know, Viking? I serve Barith McKeever and King Flan Shinna. They offer you freedom. Join us, cousin. We've been having a grand old time, the kings and I. It's the abbot who's turned this place into a prison. He's taken hostages from all the families to control all of Ireland. Shut your gab, Donal. Owen would kill you if you talk too much. And Flan will kill us if we don't. It's like Donal said. It was Owen. He told us to delay whoever came until... Until what? Until the abbot can move his forces in. How many men? How many? We don't know. No one does. He has some companies at Armagh, more men than he lets on. That's all I know. Left to my cousin, you'd both be puddles of blood and guts. But King Flan might spare your heads. 
You'll be treated as hostages, not prisoners. Until your king decides what to do with you. Now, think on your sins. It'll be easier in the end to let them keep their crowns, but... They don't need to know that yet. Flan must learn of this trap. I've already sent messengers telling him to pull his army back. I wasn't going to sit on my arse waiting for you. I'm impressed. Don't be. It took days of drinking that swill before Neil finally grew bored and careless. You've outdone yourself. I'll be sure to let the king know who the real hero was today. Thanks to you, cousin. Make sure that message reached Flan and I'll join you all later. May Sol and Mauni guide ye. Eivor, you did well at Alec. We march in the morning. I think it no small thing for you to lead my honor guard. Did you not get Barret's message, Lord? You must pull back, not move forward. This ruse is part of a larger trap, not yet sprung. Barret believes to know the minds of these kings, but the church has taken root and flourished since my uncle's day. The church is behind the plot against you. Did the message say nothing of Abbot Owen? King Neil and King Donald were doubtless seeking to cast blame elsewhere. The church is a convenient scapegoat. What if there's some truth to Badith's suspicions? Owen is the abbot of Armagh. God's appointed in Ireland. I cannot doubt him on the word of a... friend. You mean a pagan. Why are you all still here? Did my message not get through? It did, but King Flan is not convinced. You must pull out a clotter now, my king, before we are surrounded by Owen's army. You do not command me, Barth McKeever. If there was an army, my scouts... Your scouts are dead. Baldur's blood, Flan. How many must die before you learn to trust? You forget yourself, Barth. Do not invoke your false gods in my presence. Listen. What's that? Owen's wolves have arrived. I didn't come this far to die in a tent, my king. They're under attack! Come on! I should not be seen in this area. Drive them from the heart of the village! I'll take your heads and you, cousin! Do not wager on it! Feed the world. 
We held them off, at a great cost. Eivord, where is Barith? Barith! Can you hear me? Barith McKeever! A cold hand that grips my heart. <sighs> Barith. Eivor. I'm here. A glorious end, don't you think? Worthy of a saga, maybe. And you thought I'd gone soft. No one knew your true measure. Not even you, cousin. <coughs> you had your doubts. Good thing I was too stupid to give up. <coughs> your bravery will be remembered, Barith. I'll see to it. <clears throat> Hold your weapon well, cousin. I will see you in Valhalla. Sigfrid is my Valhalla, Eivor. Valhalla need not be a place. It can be a legacy. Flan must back him. Have him swear by his god. There's nothing the Christians fear more than their almighty's wrath. It will be done.
Ariel's funeral. Aerith has become a greater man in death than he was in life. Or maybe we were too small to see his full size. A harsh truth. But fair. He saw more clearly than I. And I ignored his counsel. Owen will pay for his death. What then? When the abbot is gone and you've tamed the north? What of Siegfried? Will you give him your royal support? When he has proven himself. It would not be good politics at this time. Trolls take your politics. Barith gave his life in your service. If this is how you repay loyalty, you'll be in short supply. Twice you stung me with truth. I'll return the favor. Siegfried isn't ready. But he could be, with proper teaching. Good. He'll benefit from your wisdom. And my support. But neither throne will be secure while Owen lives. We'll throttle the snake. And afterward, the fate of this land will be in your hands. Your and Siegfried. The horses are being made ready, my king. Sure you don't want to rest your bones and leave by dawn's light? My thoughts ride too rough for sleep. I have an army and reputation to reclaim. The second may prove harder than the first. My mother used to tell me how the Morrigan would feed on the death of heroes, then fill men's heads with thoughts of war. I imagined using the Tara Stone to drown out their song, the way Bishop Patrick drove the snakes from Ireland. There is no power strong enough to do what you say. Not even the gods can change fate. The world is destined to end in war. It was not but the fantasy of a young girl, so... Hmm. Tell Flon I'll come to him after I've arranged things with Siegfried. Tell him yourself. I'm not leaving yet. <laughs> <laughs>